So Bay found me one. Thank you. Is it working? The actual name brand, not not the great value. It's completely on brand for me. Back up on my bullshit, back up on the things. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. <laughs> We're at the at home store now. He's looking for a rug and rug. what? Hangers. Well, hangers for sure. And then he need a rug. And then I don't need anything out of here. I make it a candle because I am all out of candles. I wanted this one. This is a bigger one. But I can't pull it. <laughs> he needs hangers and then he also looking for a rug. They already got Halloween stuff out. The Halloween stuff is really killing my vibe. You say it is. Uh, because it is. We stole in the summer. Like, it's only July. I love the holidays, like, real bad. But I don't know. Yes, it is literally the peak of summertime. And they got Halloween stuff out and everything. And it's really killing my vibe. Cute, but this is the one time that I'm actually really, really excited for summertime and to have summer here. And all of this Halloween stuff is out. So I got my base. I need two bins to go under my um, entryway. <laughs> You've been doing a lot last night and tonight. Well, today, this morning. Oh, they on sale. Oh, yeah. I'm about to give me a pack. You're welcome. <laughs> they even cheaper. Did they take all the black with their is. Don't pee me off right now. You see black? It's everybody been up here trying to get the black hangers. They're on sale for $14.99, regular price $19.99. So Bay found me one. Thanks, boo. <laughs> so if y'all want some hangers, y'all better come to their home store, okay? $14.99 for 50 hangers. You cannot beat that. Buy one, get one, 50% off. Okay. Y'all having a good little sale up in here. 29%. Oh my gosh, do I know you're from TikTok? So I got me a black tray for my bathroom. This is $12.99. Bay wanna be like me. So he got the same one and he needed a drainer. So yeah, this is super cute. It's gonna go to my master bathroom. Oh, <laughs> I think you just popped up on who birthday? Donna's birthday too. I vlogged on her oh, birthday. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's Shira, and my cousin Dinah. Okay, Y'all know okay. her. Who <laughs> Shira? Yeah. This didn't have gold in it. I could get that. This is only a hundred dollars. This is pretty huge too. This didn't have gold in it. I can get that. Cause what I want on Amazon is a hundred and eight dollars, and that's bigger than the one on Amazon. Bay has to put air in my tire. Yes. Yes, sir. I go ahead and get You know, it's pretty old little lady. Your man ain't pumping your gas, pumping your pin air in your tire. 
<laughs> Not today. Huh? Not today. <laughs> so I was on 26. <laughs> that show how they be. I know. I don't know, it still say 26. I guess it got low. Okay, 27. Is it working? Still say 27. <laughs> so we have to come to a, another gas station because that other one was not it. This one looked better too. Like it's updated. So the other gas station we went to, the air pump was a little outdated. So <laughs> we had another one over here. That's the one we had. You can tell that was quick. No, Should have came over here first. <laughs> hey, y'all. So today is Saturday, July 13th. It's 8 54 in the evening. Um, today's actually my best friend's birthday. If you guys follow me on Instagram and stuff, you guys saw me post her. So happy birthday, bestie. Even though I already told you. Um, I text her and stuff like that. I haven't called her yet. I'll probably call her after I get done with this. I wanted her to, you know, be out, enjoy her day, do what she got to do. And then I was going to, I plan on talking to her like a little bit later today. Um, she is an hour ahead of me in time. So it's 8.54 here. So it's 9.54 there. So after I get done with this little haul and stuff like that, I'll probably go ahead and call her before her actual, you know, birthday is over. And this hair is driving me insane. If you hear something, sorry, that is my dishwasher. I am um, washing dishes and I am in my living room about to do this haul for you guys. Um, if you can kind of tell, my background is a little different. I'm gonna pause the dishwasher actually because I do want y'all to hear me well. Okay, I paused the dishwasher because I do want you guys to hear me well and I felt like I was trying to like scream and over talk that and it was making me lose my train of thought. So yeah, I'm gonna call her after I get done with all of this. Um, I don't want it to be too late, but I did want, I did want her to enjoy her day. So, we're gonna do a little haul. I'm not sure how much footage I got for this week. I know I started vlogging Sunday. I wanted to do like a, somewhat of like a reset, cleaning type of, I don't know. This is just gonna be another Living Along Weekly vlog, I guess, at this point. I did want it to be like an actual reset type of vlog, but yeah, it's not that. <laughs> so, we're gonna go over a haul. Me and my boyfriend been shopping like crazy this week definitely for like the past couple days so we've been to walmart target home good like a lot of places so we're gonna go ahead and get into um i guess i'll do ikea first um i did vlog so you guys probably saw what i got so i'm not gonna spend too much time on that um if you guys remember my last ikea trip when me and Bay went i got these um are these like tiles they're from ikea they're called the running you just put them together and i'm going to use them for my patio i needed about three or four more of these i only bought two but i think i needed three more so i just got it in like the black color that they have and we're going to do a whole patio transformation um i'm not trying to do it too quickly because i do want my patio to be how i want my patio to be but also it's going to start getting kind of cool here for fall time like late september <laughs> so i really do need to get my patio situated how i want it to so i can enjoy it in the summertime but i just got two of these one right here and then the other one is right here probably going to have to get another one i think i actually need three so it's fine uh, we do plan to go back to ikea fairly soon because he wanted that mirror that i was showing y'all and something else so i got this bag <laughs> it's huge it was like $4.99. I like bags like this because this is what I like to just keep storage items in rather than having just a lot of random junk or just random things laying around. I like to actually consolidate it and put it in a bag. You guys know I swear by these. I've been using these from Ikea. These are 99 cents. I've been using these for about three to four years now. Um, if I feel like doing the editing, I would take a picture of my outdoor patio storage and show you guys how i like to store things i put all of my seasonal decor and stuff in here and you can you can use this for anything you can put clothes in here slide it under your bed just whatever but i use it for like usually like seasonal decor and stuff like that and then it also has a little hook right here and i nail a nail in the wall and then i hook it on there to maximize my space so these are 99 cents every time i go to ikea i gotta at least get like one or two of those those are a really really good buy and then I think this is the last thing that I got from Ikea. I don't know what brand they call this, but it's just one of those um, 
what people use to clean their fruits and veggies and stuff with and then you can like dry it off so this was like seven dollars i needed one of these um especially for when i want to record my restock videos restocking my fridge anything like that i wanted to kind of be you know a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so i decided to go ahead and pick one of these up next we're going to do walmart since i only got a few things from walmart um y'all remember my one of my vlogs girl i don't even know at this point i do have like three drills here two of the drills are a smaller one kind of like this um i don't know where the charging cable is at so i can't use those <laughs> so and then my other big heavy duty one um i got that from my dad like maybe three or four years ago and no telling how long he's had it um i think the battery is now like maxed out like it's it doesn't charge anymore i think i saw a battery in walmart but the battery itself was like 52 dollars and i'm like mm, not trying to pay 60 dollars for a battery right now so i got this this was like 15 20 dollars um i'm gonna take it out see how it uh how it works and everything i think it comes with everything that i need so yeah i just got another drill from walmart and then i also got this pillow um if you guys know my bedding i do have two black pillows on my bed right now but since my living room is basically done if you guys can see like it's literally my dream living room dream couch everything dream table everything that i wanted in my living room i got it um my dining room area everything in this central living space is done so my kitchen my entryway dining room area my living room is done i'm about to focus more so on my bedroom now and then we're going to go back to my youtube studio beauty room content room um but anyways i want three black pillows going across my bed and then i'm going to have like two white or two brown ones and then i'm going to have like some other little pillow in the middle so i got another one of these these pillows are literally like seven eight dollars from walmart so that is a really good steal and i didn't get a pillowcase because the pillowcases that i actually use they are from amazon they are linked in my storefront um i specifically want those types and they don't have those in the store so i'm going to go ahead and put an amazon order in later today um and then from the at-home store you guys saw got a pack of hangers they were on sale for 14.99 believe i told y'all that so could not pass that up and that's what that's the uh only thing I got from the home store. We're gonna go to Target next because I only got three things from there. I needed a new claw clip, and obviously this is completely on brand for me. Super cute brown neutral hair clip. Um, I needed a heavy duty one. This was eight dollars though. Definitely don't feel like this was worth eight dollars, but I definitely needed this. What this say? Your service request has now been marked as in progress. I just put in a service request because um three of my lights i got i got a lot of light fixtures in here but one light fixture th that they got in my apartment it has four lights on it and only one light out of the four works so maybe come fix my stuff so they marked it as in progress i don't know if they're gonna have to order some stuff or they can come like fix it tomorrow but yeah we'll see um the other two things that i got from target they're the exact same thing Target is having a really good sale and home is having a good sale. Everybody's having like a really, really good sale right now. This is from the brand. What is this? That really, really cute brand. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Something in hand with Magnolia, the brown sugar canister. Um, $17.99 is the regular price. It was on sale for $14, I believe. And I've been eyeballing that whole collection for a long while like kitchen stuff um i just really really like the color scheme of it so i decided to buy two of these um if you've seen earlier in the vlog i was talking to y'all about how i am going to replace my sugar and my flour because i didn't know how long my sugar and flour has been in those containers um and those are from dollar tree they were a dollar which they've served their purpose but i'm like you know what i kind of want to have my sugar and flour out on the counter when i don't got no counter space first off but i've really been wanting these and i can be able to take these to my next apartment when i move next year or my house or whatever um so yeah we're just going to put sugar and flour in here and then at the bottom i'm just going to write the um expiration date for both of those so i feel like i'm going to love these these are really really heavy duty i'm going to pick up one at a time because i almost dropped one in the store but yeah y'all need to go check out y'all local target and stuff because girl they got a really good sale going on now moving into the good stuff me and babe went to home goods actually ran into my um 
cousin, her best friend Shira. I think I recorded a little bit of footage of that. She wanted to be on camera, so that was super random. I literally, we were walking, <coughs> and Shira was like, is that a, what did she say? She said something like, is that a, a TikTok? I don't know, she said something. And I was like, oh Lord, like is this like a crazy, like one of my crazy fans or something finally caught up with me around town, but it was just them. She was just playing, being funny. So anyways, I got these two cute little basket bins. They were each $14.99 compared to $22. They were made in Vietnam, um, handcrafted in Vietnam, super super cute i've been wanting two little wicker baskets um to go under my entryway table i'll probably pop in some inspo inspo pics of what i was going for and yeah oh i just got my whole couch messy i'm gonna have to back in my couch so yeah i'm also i'm also gonna spray these a little bit because since they were like handmade and stuff it kind of don't stink anymore but when i first bought them at the store um they did not have a nice smell so i'm gonna probably spray some febreze or something on there but i just bought two little cute wicker baskets for the um aesthetics and the vibes i do plan to put a little bit of stuff in there but we'll see when i was about to go check out i saw this dog wash moisturizer five in one um it's literally conditioner deodorant or soft and detangle this is what i always used to buy prince to bathe him with it is 6.99 like it says it is a five in one so like this is the only thing that you need to use on your dog and it smells amazing i got the scent lavender but it doesn't smell like lavender like it smells like a baby powder with like a hint of lavender if that makes sense um so yeah this is my favorite brand to get him they usually have it at marshall's tj maxx home goods all of those type of stores so it's the brand formula number 2101 product and yeah like amazing i absolutely love that dog wash and then like i said got two of these as you can see and we're gonna unwrap this i'm not sure if i was yeah i think i vlogged and showed y'all because i told day that i was looking for a black tray for my bathroom and he was like oh yeah i don't want to copy you but i need a black tray too i'm like mm, do you now so it was 12.99 mine is a little bit bigger than his so i decided to go with rectangle and he got the um more oval one i'm gonna put my like hand wash on here too but you know all of that just to put it all in one spot to make it really look uniform and as well as I need to add some more black accents to my um, bathroom because it's not really much in there so yeah I'm super excited about that I've been looking for a black tray like that for a long while last two things that I got are candles I love to get candles from home goods this is the sensational white magnolia natural soy blend candle 11 ounces and this was $7.99 this is how it looks it smells amazing <clears throat> mm. Bay said it smells it reminds him of like laundry detergent but it's like a real subtle clean type of like linen scent um I do have one of my at-home candles right here in the kitchen right now burning so i'm gonna swap it out for this because it just feels like this should be out in like the kitchen close to the laundry area because that's what it's giving and the other candle whoo, that i got <laughs> is freaking huge it's still by the same sensational brand i noticed that all of my candles that i mostly get from home goods are by this brand um it's a phenomenal brand this is tangerine in something coconut and beeswax blend this one was i think 14 yeah 14.99 i don't know what it is but this just smell like summertime i really think it's that tangerine coming through the most and oh my gosh girl it smells so good this one i don't know where i'm gonna put um and yeah that's all i got i don't know how much footage that i'm gonna have for this actual vlog so um I was going to put like all of this stuff up in the next vlog. Like I said, I don't know how long it's going to be, but I mean, it's, it's just a little bit of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and see if these fit under my entryway table and switch out these candles. And then I'll probably go ahead and clean out these. I'm not sure if I want to put the flour and sugar in here yet because I really do want to record a... Um, 
like a short form Sunday reset type of vlog. And then obviously for the aesthetics and stuff, I do want to actually pour the flour and stuff in this, like a restock. So I'll probably go ahead and clean them, but I'm not gonna like fill them yet because I do want to pour, you know, a little content and stuff. So, and then I can't put my pillow up either because I gotta order a pillowcase from Amazon. So yeah. The next next week's vlog, I am about to order some stuff from Amazon, so we'll be um, putting up the stuff that I ordered because there is a few other things that I want to order from Amazon as well. So yeah. Okay, that fit perfectly. Exactly how I want it. The only thing is, I'm not sure if I should get a taller basket or if that looks fine. This is what I'm going for. Something like that. I'll probably pop them on the screen so y'all can see a little better. But I don't know. See how they're like a little. Well, that one got like a. It seems a little taller, but that one got something that it sits on on the bottom. So like all of these got like an extra bottom. And mine is just on the floor. But that's basically the vibes that I'm going for with it. Y'all tell me, does it look okay? Or should I try to find something taller? I still have my receipt, so depending on what everybody votes, we'll see. Um, I feel like y'all are gonna say taller, but then again, I feel like it looks fine. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture as well and pop that in so you guys can see it. On the picture, it doesn't look bad, honestly. Turn down my brightness. So I totally forgot that I ordered, well I didn't order, but from Walmart I bought these mirrors. Um, my boyfriend bought six cause he did the like mirror wall situation in his apartment. <laughs> I just love that he literally said, I think I caught it on camera, I'm not sure. He was like, uh, it's my fault that I got him like that. Like <laughs> loving home decor, buying like just different things for the house, making it, you know, for like a home and stuff. But anyways, he bought six of these. He did like the little viral mirror wall in his apartment. And then I bought two of these. I got it in black. I was thinking, should I do black or white? But I, I really don't know. Um, I decided to get black for right now. Um, I was trying to hold out and try to find something else, a new way to decorate my wall. But when I see it online, it looks really, really pretty when they have the two long mirrors on either side of the bed as decoration. And then, you know, they have, you know, just whatever else they want. So my thought process with this was to do that as well. We're not gonna do it in this vlog because I'm just probably gonna end it here tonight because I don't want it to be like drugged out. I'm gonna take one of these mirrors. Um, so basically battery done and my camera overheating. This is why I hate that Sony camera. <clears throat> my idea was to put it like this, obviously. Um, I feel like if I was to get white, it'll just kind of look, I don't know, I feel like it'll look off. If it was white, y'all come in and let tell me. But I decided to get black. I'll probably try to put these up tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I got these seven dollars or eight dollars. Um, I wanted to, I don't know, we just have a lot of stuff to try to figure out and get done with this room. Um, I'm gonna talk to y'all next week and I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday, and then I'm gonna edit this vlog that y'all are watching, and this will probably be posted like Thursday or the following Sunday. So yeah, don't forget to like this video. This is my waist trainer. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you lovelies in my next video. Um Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be the start of another Living Along weekly vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. And if you're new here, hey girl, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. So I just got back from Walmart. I think I recorded a little clip of me like getting into the car. I did wanna introduce this vlog inside of my car, you know, little car vibes, little car chit chat. 
but it's hot as hell outside it is 93 degrees in my ear i think in my last vlog um a few of my other vlogs y'all know my air has been going like in and out and i haven't taken it yet to figure out what the heck is wrong with it because they are going to take my car for three days and it's just been a lot going on with me going on trips getting covid and just a whole bunch of stuff and then i also need to get around and i live on the whole opposite side of town then like my parents and stuff so like you know they won't be able to take me my boyfriend uh he could take me places and stuff but i don't know i'm gonna try to schedule out some time either this month or like right after my birthday my birthday is august 1st team leo period so yeah because i cannot keep rolling like this like if this happened during fall time winter time cool like i can bundle up you know like i would always rather be cold than hot always because you can't just walk outside butt naked okay <laughs> so the whole reason for me going to walmart really quickly was for me oh hold up let me turn on my light so i have like different light fixtures in here so i have this light right above the door um when you come in that's one separate light this light fixture right here is one separate light and these are one separate light so this one only one bulb in here was working so this one was working and the other three were not so i put in a work order i think saturday night early sunday morning and he came and fixed it like two hours ago I should have recorded how it looked before. It was like, y'all know, it looked just like this, like really dull, but like really, really low, especially because it was only one light working. So compare this to that. Look at that. So they gave me white lights and then these, I really want these swapped out too because I don't like yellow lights. And I think those are just regular light bulbs right here. Let me check. <clears throat> yeah, those are just regular light bulbs. So I can probably swap those out myself, but those for sure, I had to get those replaced and they are so freaking bright. I'm super excited about that. So the main reason for me going to Walmart, let me put this tracker on my face. Going to Walmart was because I needed some more cream of chicken. I'm making my little famous meal again. So I didn't have any and I need to check on this chicken because don't do this kids, but I did leave my house while my food was still cooking only because I'm cooking chicken. So it's going to take, you know, about hour, 30 minutes, two hours, whatever to cook. And I got 19 minutes left on my timer, but I also don't want it to burn because I didn't have anything else to put in here with it. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to take this chicken out and put it in a different pan because <laughs> since I didn't have my freaking cream of chicken so since i didn't have my cream of chicken yeah it's not looking too good a food. i'm just gonna use a new dish and put it in here really horrible lighting i know sorry but i haven't really been doing too much today um i got up me and Bay went to the um gym today had a really good gym session came back showered <gasps> Watched a little bit of Master Chef, and I have been editing TikToks and YouTube videos like crazy. <clears throat> Trying to get back into routine. I do go to work. I do go to work this Thursday and Friday. I haven't been to work. When I do go back Thursday, it'll be like almost day near a month, like 22, 23 days or so, something like that. So, um, yeah, just trying to get back, build a routine before I go back to um, work. I've been in the gym consistently. Super glad about that. Um, as well as, obviously, I've been MIA from, like, YouTube and every social media day near for about a month. So, I just posted, like, a video. I posted some, I posted a reel, a TikTok, and a shorts video. The same video across all platforms if you follow me. Um, TikTok and stuff is doing really good, getting comments. So, I'm trying to get back into, you know, a little bit of consistency. And not even that, like, I didn't have consistency. It was just me. Like, I think I explained in the last vlog. I just needed a break. I and I just needed to live in the moment for a second. Um, and just not focus on content. Y'all know I was sick and traveling and all of that. So that was a lot as well. I did want to say, I was watching Chelsea Janae, love her. Um, <laughs> she was talking about how she kind of just be in her head about stuff and like psych herself out. Y'all know I'll be talking about that. Like I record everything, but I just don't post. And literally my pack with me video, you know, just, just little stuff like that. And that's doing so well. And a lot of y'all are commenting on it. And then like other people that I don't recognize as a subscriber, like some of y'all, um, some of my family members on here, 
I recognize y'all because a lot of y'all were um, comment on like every single you know video or like talk to me on Instagram. I talk to y'all stuff like that. So it's like a good fifteen of y'all that I for sure know. Like when I see a name or like y'all picture or something, it's like I remember y'all. So definitely, I always look at that. Um, so the people that's commenting or whatever, like some of them I recognize, some of them I don't. But it's actually doing really well um, on TikTok right now. I got. <laughs> I posted the same one on YouTube so you guys can look at that as well. Um, right now, I just posted it about two, two hours ago. It got 1,700 views and I already got nine comments, 12 saves, 125 likes. And that's really good for my little TikTok. I only got 4,114 followers. So I am trying to get to 10K. When I get to 10K, I will be able to like really like make money, do different things, you know, within the app. So go follow my TikTok. It is at Akira Janae, <laughs> obviously. So I am trying to get more consistent with TikTok because to me, I feel like it really is easy to grow on TikTok. Um, it's really like just, you know, it's just short videos. People love, you know, just people love everything. So I think it is really easy. It's just, I don't ever just be consistent with it. I'm about to unbox these real quick. I just got some peach juice. I got some cranberry juice. Um, while I was in there, I was like, you know what? Since I only came here for cream of chicken, I might as well get, you know, a little bit of the stuff that I'm missing out on. So, needed some more of these sausages. Y'all know I I make sausages. Put that with any type of meal. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Got some chicken broth, spaghetti, sauce. These, oh my gosh, y'all. If y'all have, y'all probably had these. I'd be so late to the party sometimes. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. The um shredded hash brown potatoes. The actual name brand, not, not the great value. These taste just like Waffle House hash browns. I made them yesterday, and while I was making them, I added salt and pepper while like flipping it. Um, and then I also kind of cooked it in a little bit of bacon grease, and I think that's really what did it. Oh my gosh, girl, these taste so good. So I already have a pack in the fridge, but I'm probably about like right here, because I mean, it's hash browns. Um, and I eat a lot as well. So literally, it says about 10 servings, but girl, it might be like five for me because I eat a lot of these in the morning, especially right before the gym. But I just want the, if y'all haven't had these, girl, they are good. Oh my gosh, that's like my new favorite breakfast food. And then I also picked up some chili dog sauce. Um, here's the thing. I like the actual name brand, but sometimes... I don't know sometimes it be tasting a little weird to me and i also don't like excuse me beans in my chili so i think it's called the wolf brand chili whatever i like that but this little great value this one ain't too bad either and i also like everything that i cook if i buy it from the store i always add my own seasonings and like my own flair to it just like this like i season this as well so this isn't bad i always add my own seasoning to it and it's like only 70 something cents so i do like to get that one I went ahead and picked up some Dove Bar Soap. Um, I like to use soap as well as body wash, so I got some more of that. And then I just got some extra hamburger, not hamburger buns, hot dog buns for my um, chili dog. Oh, let me show y'all. I um, rearranged my apartment. I maybe should show y'all when it's actually clean, but let me show y'all. How stinking cute. If y'all know, my couch was going, started over there and went out this way, and then my ottoman little thing was over there against the window but i changed it around i like it like this it definitely feels more open like if you go back to a few other vlogs or if you just remember my apartment it was definitely kind of closed offish now it's so much space over here and it just feels amazing and then i also kind of switched my mirror so my mirror isn't directly against this wall it's kind of kind of cornered and i like it like that i just got to make sure to keep my background <laughs> clean if i want to come up here and take a pic okay um, everything else is the same, but I did move my couch and I actually really, 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 really like my space now. Um, like I said, I do need to start editing a vlog that I recorded last week. Um, my clips are still uploading to the software. I use CapCut to edit, so I just like to wait till all my clips are uploaded. In the meantime, I'm about to straighten up a little bit. I do need to wash clothes, um, especially because I don't have anything else to wear to the gym like top wise i still got a few shorts and bottoms and stuff but i do need to wash my clothes and get that together and my stuff for work and all of that that's already good 
But yeah, I mean, my apartment is clean. I do need to mop though. That man who came in here to replace my lights, he did not take off his shoes. Um, and he also brought in a ladder. So I'm like, you know, I'm not about to even bother him to, you know, do anything. So I do need to mop since he was tracking his feet up in here. Um, and I do need to give Prince a bath, but all of this is not probably gonna happen today. I am gonna wash tonight, but giving Prince a bath and all of that, we may just throw that on to tomorrow. Hey y'all, I wanted to get on the camera and I wanted to wait until I basically calm down a little bit because I am definitely pissed the F off right now. Um, just left the gym. First off, since I was pissed off, I didn't start my watch until I was already done with my whole workout. But after my workout, I do like to get on like the stair stepper or the treadmills. Um, it was 32 minutes, burned 280, well total calories 280, active calories 236, heart rate 153. Um, and I really just wanted to stay on there to beat, uh, <laughs> you know how some stair steppers will have people that's like already on there, like how, you know, the highest person or whatever, I don't know, the highest floors and the most calories burn. And I just wanted to outbeat the person at the top. Um, so I just kept going until I beat them. Actually, I'm about to take that off my Instagram story because I feel like I'm sharing too much on Instagram and it just feels really weird right now. I don't know. You, do y'all ever feel like y'all just oversharing a little bit too much like on any social media? For sure, Instagram, I feel that way. So, yeah. But I wanted to say I am pissed the F off right now because my TikTok account literally got banned, suspended, deleted, whatever you want to say. This is what I was scrolling on TikTok and this pop up. Y'all DM me and stuff, people DM me like, you know, what the F, la da da da, whatever. Um, I don't feel like DMing nobody back because I'm over it at this point. Um, so I went on TikTok on my business page looking up what people were saying about how they basically, you know, either got their TikTok back, just people going through what I'm going through as well. Um, I did the same thing when my YouTube account got hacked, got that back. So I'm hoping I get it back. One girl said it took her about two weeks to get hers back. Um, some other like some other people didn't get theirs back they just you know got a new one or you know they appear like it's it's just a whole ordeal so what i'm going to focus on today i was going to try to edit a video but at this point i just feel like i'm going to probably have to re um post everything so i don't know i kind of want to just focus on like short form content today to make sure that i have enough to post because if i don't get my tiktok back i am going to be posting like every other day on there um because i literally had I, my tiktok was growing i just screenshotted my freaking page um <clears throat> yesterday at 6 13 p.m i had 4114 followers and then you know like 200k views just all kind of stuff so at this point i'm just over it i'm going to repost most of those videos but it's like you know this stuff is oh you can't really you know get that type of stuff back so i don't know i'm gonna try to repost my top videos and then after those i'm just gonna start posting the like my most frequent stuff to see if that you know does a little bit or whatever and then i'm just gonna post all of my new content so by the time y'all see this video i do have another video that i gotta post i am post that one on thursday my travel vlog and then this vlog that y'all well, I don't know. Maybe this vlog y'all watching. I don't know. Because I got my travel vlog already done. That's ready to be posted on Thursday. Sunday, me and Bay. I don't know. Y'all may see this either this coming. I don't know. Whenever y'all see this, by the time I will either have on the screen in the description box or something by now. Um, if I got a new TikTok or not, or if I have my TikTok, my regular TikTok back. If I got a new one, it'll be on the screen or in the description box or something below. So yeah, it's really annoying. Um, I guess I'll just prepare to start fresh. I'm gonna give it about two days to see if I hear something back from them. Like I said, the one girl said it took her two days to... What is he in here coughing for? What you doing? <laughs> Lordy. 
So I'm gonna give it two days. I emailed them today about noon. So today is so by Thursday, hopefully I should hear something back from them. And it's really annoying too because I've been getting a lot of emails about TikTok collabs, just a whole bunch of stuff. And it's just irking my nerves right now. So I'm trying to be in good spirits about it. Um, it's fine. It's not like, I, um, you know, of course I'm pissed or whatever, but it's not like I just had like 100K followers or something. Then like it got deleted. Then I would literally be boohoo crying. But I mean, I was only at 4,000 followers. Um, like I was saying earlier, I feel like TikTok is a platform that you can kind of grow on quickly. So I'm just going to kind of put my attention to that mostly for like the next two weeks to try to grow that so yeah like i said if i got a new one please go follow me guys <laughs> and if you already saw a few of the videos that i post still just like repost you know comment whatever would you would um so yeah if you don't see me on tiktok that's why page got suspended being deleted so yeah I, um okay this is done so i'm about to go ahead and finish up this vlog um this is already about an hour long this is me and my boyfriend going to like ikea me doing a little reset whatever and then i do have a lot more footage of us going to home goods and just that type of stuff so i am going to split it up into two videos because if not that'll be a two hour long vlog and i'm just not there at my point in my youtube career to be posting two hour long vlogs so I'm going to keep them at like an hour and then I'll post, you know, like a part two or whatever. So that does help me actually get more videos to put out for y'all. So, um, yeah. And plus, you know, I've been looking at other YouTubers and stuff. And sometimes, you know, they don't post, you know, an hour all the time. For example, Chelsea Janae, like sometimes she will have 15 minute videos, 14 minute videos. <laughs> I'm like, baby, come on now. So I'm at least try to keep it between like 30 to an hour long. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing real good with YouTube. Like I said, that's right, what's going on just just love that for me but i'm also like i said i'm not too mad either because i don't know it's just i'm mad but i'm not mad like it'll give me because i had some videos on there that was like you know stupid one doing too well whatever like that and wasn't really matching with like my aesthetic of my videos so or, like the aesthetic of what i was going for so it's cool it may end up being a blessing in disguise honestly um that's just how i gotta look at it i'm gonna try to stay positive about it um and some of y'all may be like it's it's just you know it's just a profile but baby that's my coin <laughs> that's my lady <laughs> so i ain't gonna let it get me too down because you know the devil I always trying to get you but you know what yeah put all my faith into him so it's cool my goal still is 10k i was trying to do like 10k by like the end of august but hmm i guess i could still do that but i'm just going to be realistic uh, i'm just going to say 10k followers on tiktok by like christmas time um i feel like i could definitely probably have that um so yeah and i would like to have like 50k on youtube by christmas or even more than that <laughs> I'm gonna go get